My name is Melinda Bird, and I work as an artist. Um, my favorite medium at this moment is uh, carving woodcuts. I like this form of art because it's so clearly black and white. When I work on an image, I can sketch and paint, have different colors, and they all blend together, but with a block print, you, you have to be definitive about what your dark areas and your light areas are. The history of woodcuts go way back. It's the earliest form of printing. It goes back to China and Egypt, when, where they actually carved in wood and, and printed into clay or in wax before paper was made. First thing I do is come up with a design. And the design can be out of my head. It can be inspired through pictures that I have, feelings that I'm feeling inside that I want to express visually. And lots of times just to share nature with other people because most of my subjects are nature related. So I painted it on a piece of paper, then I took some tracing paper and laid that on top of the painting that I did and I traced it onto the paper. And then I can turn the tracing paper over and it inverts the whole image. And that's what I need to do to get it onto the wood because when I print it it will be the reverse of what I've designed. I use carbon paper and I transfer it onto the block of wood. So once I get the image on the wood, just as I want to carve it, I, I decide to blacken the image. I don't always do this, but I took black ink and I painted everything that I wanted to see as a black image. And then I took my carving tools and carved away everything else that was not black. So basically I'm carving away the space that would be white when I print on paper. Because I'm going to be rolling ink onto the surface of the board, what I don't carve away will have the ink on it and it'll be a black image on the paper. So I carve and clean things up. I have to go with the grain, especially with curves and circles. It's important to keep your blade following the curve of the grain with the grain. Otherwise, you're backing up splinters and they, they'll they split. When you're first doing this, this happens all the time and you learn. It's just something that you, that you learn as you go. When I think I have it pretty good and I'm not sure what else to carve, I decide to make a proof. When I make a proof, I'm going to actually print from the block and just see how it looks. So I prepare my printing area. I use a sheet of glass and it's a nice surface for putting my ink onto. And I roll the ink with a brayer. It's basically just a roller but it's called a brayer. And I get just the right consistency back and forth, back and forth until it has a sound of um, a tackiness that tells me that the ink is just the right consistency. Then I roll it onto the block very carefully trying not to let my brayer dip into some of the grooves that I've carved out because that will mess it up. In the meantime, I'm soaking printing paper. It's a very good quality paper, it's strong, but it has to be soaked so that the ink can really get into the fibers and not just sit on the surface of the paper. So I pull the paper from the soaking bin, let it drip dry, I blot it with some blotter paper, and then lay the paper on the table and take my block that I've rolled with ink and carefully lay it on top of the paper so it's as centered as I can do it. Once you lay the block, you have to invert that, like slide that off the table carefully and burnish the paper onto the surface of the wood with a wooden spoon. I usually put a piece of paper in between my spoon and the printing paper so that my spoon can glide over the paper smoothly without wrinkling wet paper. And I just use all my strength to bear down and push to make sure the design on the wood comes through. When I've got that done, I carefully pull the paper off, and that's my proof. The proof usually has lots of mistakes on it and messy areas, but at that point I just put everything else away, clean up all my, my block and tools, uh, wash up the block, and then I start carving again. And I look at my proof to decide what to clear away to make a nice image. Uh, so all the messy areas are then carved away so they won't be messes later on. When I finally have got everything looking as good as I can through my carving, then it's time to start a real print. And these are prints that I'm going to call my final print where I don't adjust them and change them as time goes on. May the wind be always at your back. <laughs>